Hi. Welcome to 365 Prints, where I talk about 3D printing, 3D design, and specifically the CR6SE. Today I'm going to show you how I insert pauses into my G code using Super Slicer. <laughs> I use Super Slicer for my slicing needs, which is based on Prusa Slicer. So this method I'm showing you should work in Prusa Slicer also. I don't use Cura, and this process is much different than that application. I may do a separate video later for Cura. Simplify 3D users, you guys should move on, really. I did. You'll be happier. There's a way to do it. You must put some G code into the additional commands for post-processing section. Um, but you hard code the layers in there. So uh, Simplify 3D hasn't been updated in, in three or four years. It's probably not going to. Um, that rant deserves its own video. I did cover this process in my tri-colored keychain video, but that video was long and it was at the end. I totally understand if folks didn't view the whole thing. I get it. So here's a much shorter video just going through the steps to add the color change process uh, using Super Slicer. Um, this is the object I want to do color changes on. It's a little bottle opener with Jamaican colors, and I insert a little magnet in the middle just to hold the bottle cap so it can be properly disposed of instead of just dropping on the floor. So let's head over to the computer, but before we do, let me pause for our sponsors. Uh, I don't have any sponsors. So if you like what you see, you know what to do, Rico. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so I kind of want to start with the end goal here. This is, this is what I'm shooting for. This is a representation of the finished bottle opener printed in, in its colors. So, um, let me show you how we get here. I should mention that I am using, uh, where is it? about Super Slicer. I'm using version 2.4.582. This is the very latest version of Super Slicer. Might not be completely stable. The bottle opener that I created is based off of this bottle opener. I do want to give this gentleman credit, Mr. Four Volt. He spent a lot of time going through different iterations of bottle openers and he finally settled on this design which is just incredible. Um, so I, I took some measurements of this and made my own. Uh, I did upload it to, um, to printables. It is number 226017 if you're interested. Uh, but let's get back to Super Slicer and show you how I uh, show you how I did this. So let's let's uh, discard those changes, and uh, we're we're even going to remove the item here. And let, let's start from scratch. So I'm going to bring over my latest bottle opener. As you can see, I got like 15 versions of this. Okay, so here is a blank version of the bottle opener. <coughs> So basically, I want to pause the print at two different points during this print because I want to change the color twice. And I want to insert a magnet that I've made a little hole for. So uh, it just so happens uh, when I'm inserting that magnet, I also want to make a color change. So I only need two color change pauses inserted into this print. Uh, I have already uh, adjusted my print settings. This is going to be a 0.2 layer height. Everything else is, uh, is happy. So the first thing we need to do is to slice it because we need to determine the layers that we need to pause it at. So we first have to slice it so it creates those layers. Feature type, good, okay. So let's zoom in a little bit. I need to concentrate on this area here because this is where I made the hole uh, for the uh, a, a gap for the magnet. So I'm going to scroll down here in the layers, and here is the hole for my magnet. 
so I basically want to pause right before uh, that hole and write, I, I want to pause right before this gap and right after this gap, this hole that I made. So here's the beginning of the hole. Here's, here's where it, it seals it up, right there. Okay, so if I scroll down a bit, right, you can see it, it's still continuing just fine, creating the object, and then right there is where it's placing down the first layer, um, you know, a good concrete layer for that uh, hole that I made, that gap. So this is right here, this layer is where I want to start this color change. To do that, I'm at, I'm at the layer I want. You see this little plus here? If I right click on that plus, I get a little menu here and I want to add color change. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask me, okay, what, what color are we changing to? In this case, I'm going to change to black PLA. Click OK. And see what it did here? So this bottom layer, this bottom portion of the object is going to be in uh, yellow. That's, I determined that in the print settings. I'll show you. And the rest is going to be printed in black. So I want to continue on here. So see, here's the, the gap for the uh, magnet. And right up here is where it's going to seal. Right there is where it's going to seal that gap. So this is where I want uh, this next color change. And I can't demonstrate that very well. Okay, uh, so let's right click, add color change. And here I'm going to continue on with green. I like that one. Okay, and see, the rest of this print is going to be uh, in green here. So if I if I scroll all the way up here, uh, oh, I see what's going on. Oh, okay. Okay, so now that I've determined where I want uh, those pauses to be inserted into the G-code, I do need to slice again so it actually puts those pauses in. If um, Normally, we're on feature type. If we change this drop-down here to color print, it's actually going to show us the, the color, the filament colors here. So it's going to start with yellow. At this point, it's going to pause, and then we're going to change to black. And then it's going to continue on. At this point, it's going to pause, and we're going to change to green, and it's going to finish off the print. So isn't that kind of cool how, how it shows us what that finished object is, is going to look like? <clears throat> uh, now I should mention that all the things that I've done here should be also work in Prusa Slicer. Um, Super Slicer is based off of that. I don't know how to do it in Cura. I, I don't use Cura. I just briefly looked at it real quick before this video and uh, it's a little bit more involved. That might even require a second video here. But um, again, again, we do get a little summary here. So it's telling us that the entire print's going to be 58 minutes. The color zero, I, I'm, the color yellow, we're going to start with, is going to take about 21 minutes, and then it's going to pause and want us to change to the black filament, and then it's going to print for about 14 minutes of black, and then it's going to pause again, wanting us to change to green, and then it's going to finish off with about 22 minutes of, uh, of the print for green. Um, I should show under printer settings, under the extruder section, if you scroll down to the bottom, this is the initial color we're starting with. I, I made this yellow. So that's how it knows that, uh, that we start off with yellow and then uh, switch into black and then, and then green. So, um... It is the fully sliced. Let's export this G code. Get to the right folder here. This is going to be version 15. We're going to say with color change pause. How's that? Something like that. 
and save that. Here is that just saved G code. I'm going to open this with Notepad. I'm going to do a search for M600. Let's do a capital M. <laughs> and here is the first M600. Let's do the, and it, it, look how it's about, uh, you know, almost halfway through the file here. There should only be one more M600. I only put two pauses in this file. So find next, and there's the next one, a little bit farther down in the print. And if I do find next, ah, oh, that's interesting. It's in here in a, uh, in a comment. But okay, so there's only two um, color changes. So let's find this first one. And this was on layer 7.92. So if we go back to Super Slicer, and if I go down, look at that, 7.92 is this layer. And that's where I told it to put the pause. So that, that works. So this is how I used to do it. I used to just slice my code <coughs> and then uh, just, you know, jog down to the layer here that I wanted. And I would say, oh, so it's layer 7.92. And I would go into my G code. And about right here, I would put in my M600 and a, a little, uh, little, little note that... Uh, little uh, note of what I'm doing here. So that's how I used to do it. And then I found this method here in Super Slicer to do it through the GUI, which I like a lot better. So I guess let's get to the print and actually show you uh, making the color changes manually. All right, uh, so I said we'll print this and I'll show you how I manually change the color on the, on the printer, but I already covered that in my color change video and I'll try to put a link to that up here. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them. Uh, if you like what you see, hit those buttons and thanks for hanging out with me at 365 Prints.